My dad passed away about 10 years ago. Um, one of the things he left for us uh, was his collection of coins. And I say collection, um, anybody that knew my dad, if you walked anywhere with him, you'd go to a store, go out to eat, uh, he would almost run into things or almost get run over because the minute he got in the parking lot, he was looking down, um, looking for change. And I mean, you, you couldn't go anywhere with him without him picking up a handful of change. He would always see a penny here, a nickel, a dime, quarter, dollar bills, whatever. He was always finding money. And pretty much the way he explained it, as long as he remembered, you know, he got his job back in the 40s at the paper mill. He started collecting money, just collecting change. And this is just a small sampling of some of the money he left. You know, in random uh, tin cans, there'll be uh, pennies, other kind of money, mostly pennies. That's, that seems to be the thing that, that he had the most of. And, you know, we've always wanted to go through it. He wanted to go through it. And I swear, you know, most of my life, I remember him talking about wanting to go through it when he retired. And, you know, now, and I've said before, he, uh, he lived 30 years in retirement, but he never got through most of this. Um, he may have looked at a little, but he's facing the same thing I'm facing now. And that's just the fainting eyesight makes it hard to see everything on these pennies. So, you know, me and the kids kind of did it for a while. You know, we would go through pennies and separate, uh, like this big bag was everything 1930. And then we would go in, once we did that, and separate uh, each one into individual years, just, you know, to kind of start separating them a little bit. And the goal was to come back and try to find anything that was worth any money. Um, just for instance, here's a bag of uh, 1943 pennies. So these are, you know, during the war, obviously they're not copper. Uh, but anyway, it's just nice to have a uh, separated to some degree. But I was thinking, you know, I know I'm never going to get through this. Like I say, this is a small fraction of what we've got that he left us. And, you know, it would take a long time to get through them all. And I know even if this was a priority, it probably wouldn't be something I would get done very quickly. So I kind of started thinking, shouldn't it be easy enough to build a machine to do some of this work for me? So I started kind of thinking through the process. I was thinking, well, you know, initially you're going to need some kind of hopper, you know, a place you can just go dump a hole, pick up a can of uh, a can of pennies, dump them in, let it kind of, you know, figure out a way to get it down where it's into a small chute and it can drop a penny at a time. Maybe have a conveyor system that then, you know, moves each penny along have a camera that takes a picture of it. Some way you're gonna to need to flip it, um, take a picture of the other side, and then have a, a system. I would love to call it an AI system. I had a friend tell me this is not AI, it's just a computer program. But I, I like to think of it as being AI where I would find a way to feed it all of the values of, of different coins. And it would go in and analyze a coin, determine the gear, determine the mint location, determine any imperfections or errors on it that might make it valuable and uh, you know try to estimate a value and then once that's done it would take it to a sorting system you know and how you sort it there's any number of ways that could be done you could sort it in kind of like we were doing initially with every 10 years maybe every year depending on how many bins you have and maybe you don't care about separating by years Maybe you only look for coins of value. Anything that's face value gets dumped here and you just go drop it off at the bank. Anything that's, you know, two to three times face value goes here. And then anything over, I don't know, a dollar a coin or something, if it's a penny, you know, gets dropped in this bucket and those you really want to look at and, and try to determine the real value of them. But so that's the system I was kind of thinking of. And while I was thinking about AI, I said, well, I guess I could have an AI system help me design this whole thing. So I kind of fed the idea into ChatGPT, and I'll show you the picture it kind of came up with. I told it all the, already the way I was thinking how this would work. So it really took my ideas and just kind of tried to expand on it a little bit. Um, I really never could understand what it was really wanting to do with the flipper. And I asked it to, to give me a better view of the flipper, and, and this is what it came up with. So I'm, I'm still not really sure. Um, what it wanted to do. Of course, it, it sounds like it's talking about having it where it can take a picture from the bottom and the top at the same time, which may work, but it also talked about the ability of maybe having a little robotic arm that would pick up the coin, flip it, and put it right back down, which would work. 
outside of that, it's looking to, you know, have some way to flip it off that conveyor onto another. And I don't really want to have two photo systems. I'd prefer just to have one, you know, each coin gets two images that are then uploaded to the, the analysis system. But, um, anyway, that's kind of what I've come up with so far. So that's my plan is how to walk through this. Obviously this is not going to be one video on how to design and build all this. It's going to take a lot of learning for me to figure this out. Um, and some of the parts I may be able to just buy stock, go to Amazon and find something. I may be able to go find a hopper that does exactly what I want. Um, you know, there are a lot of coin mechs for, you know, arcade machines, vending machines, uh, whatever. Coinstar has to be able to do a lot really quickly to sort coins and count them and, and, and you know, give you an amount of money back. So there has to be systems already in place to do some of this work. So that's what I need to determine. Can I find one cheap enough to do it? Um, and if so, I may just buy it instead of trying to design it and build it myself. But my goal would be to build a big portion of this. Um, you know, and it's one of those things. Is it even worth doing, right? I, I'm going to spend hours and hours, probably weeks, months, <laughs> trying to get this whole thing designed and built. I could probably just sit down and start going through coins and be done in the same amount of time. But there's definitely a chance for me to learn some stuff in doing this. So that's going to be one of my big pluses right now is I'm, I'm finding ways to learn, trying to stretch the, the, the mental capacity a little bit and, and come up with some new ideas. But uh, anyway, if you've got ideas on how to do this, if you've seen a system that does something similar, please let me know. And again, I'm not wanting it. I mean, I've seen systems where you put a single coin on a camera system and it takes the photo and does the work for you. But I would really like to have it where, you know, it's fully autonomous. I just dump the coins in a bin and then come back, you know, a few hours later and it's given me a full report of what it found and they're all sorted at the end and me not having to sit here and do, you know, do the menial work throughout the, the whole process. But anyway, if you've got ideas, I'd love to hear them. Otherwise, I'm going to start working on the hopper system and see what I can come up with. I appreciate you guys watching. Y'all have a great day.